A jury is recommending the maximum prison sentence for Ronald Exantis after finding him not guilty of the most serious charge against him. The jury has asked the judge to sentence Exantis to 20 years in prison for charges related to the murder of six-year-old Logan Tipton. ABC 36's Kelsey Thord was back in the courtroom today. She's live with more. Amber, like you said, the jury is asking a judge sentence Ronald Exantis to 20 years in prison. That's for three assault charges he was found guilty but mentally ill for in relation to Logan Tipton's murder. Now, all of this comes just less than a day after the jury spent close to 12 hours deliberating the verdict in this case, ultimately finding Exantis not guilty by reason of insanity for the two greater charges, the actual murder of Logan Tipton, as well as for the burglary charge he faced for breaking into the Tipton home. Now, the jury did, however, find Exantis guilty but <coughs> mentally ill of those three lesser assault charges. Those charges carried a minimum sentence of five years in prison and a maximum of 20 years. The jury recommended the maximum, a decision Logan Tipton's mother accepted but isn't fully happy with. I'm glad he at least got something that was the maximum that he could get. Unfortunately, the jury failed us in the murder of Logan, but we're not done. We're not finished. There will be more to come of this. Now that more Heather is talking about is some sort of victim's rights bill that she says she hopes to help craft in the future to help protect what she calls more vulnerable victims like young children and the elderly. Now Exantis' sentencing hearing, the official hearing, will be on April 24th back in Woodford County where this crime happened. And even if a judge sentences Exantis to that 20-year recommended sentence, he could still come up for parole as early as December of next year. Reporting in Lexington, I'm Kelsey Thorid, ABC 36 News.